out in Outback Australia and have been in Victoria for seven years. I guess my title is Indigenous and Social Inclusion Advisor. I don't like putting labels on things, uh, but yeah, basically trying to affect change. My goal is to make my role redundant. Um, a lot of people think like, what the hell? That If you do that, then you won't have a job. You put yourself out of work. But uh, for me, I mean, I've, I've seen these kind of roles pop up over the last few years, but if everybody's being socially inclusive, you know, companies are just diverse, then there'll be no need to have a role or have somebody trying to, trying to lead that. <laughs> yeah, so I started out as a trainee when I was 19 years old. Um, looking back, I think I was a bit of a, it was a bit of a disaster, really. I hadn't had a computer. Um, I didn't know how to send emails. I would stuff up spreadsheets all the time. I, I really had no idea, uh, but I was lucky because I had a senior project engineer and shared an office with a lawyer who would take the time of day and uh, help me, guide me. They didn't know that they were doing it, but it meant so much to me. So every day they'd encourage me or they'd share a story about the time they stuffed up in their career. Or... Although it helped me to start my career. So I'm passionate about my role purely based on my personal experiences. I came from, you know, I guess, hum exceptionally humble beginning, um, you know, where some days it was like, do we put fuel in the car to get to work or do we eat? It was, it was tough. Um, so for me, I guess I've, I've started from, I guess in the industry, the bottom, and then sort of worked my way up, gone on to further study, did Toastmasters, uh, networking events, uh, stayed back late, worked on weekends just to learn more, um, get the experience that I could get, volunteer, do, do all those sorts of things. So for me, um, it has been very, I guess not so straightforward or it's been it's been tough trying to get where I am today and I don't think it should be like that I think you know if we if everybody is just socially inclusive then then there's no way that there's no uh, hindrance on people trying to like prove themselves or yeah so I hope by people looking at this video that potentially they're encouraged to be leaders in diversity, be leaders in change, be social inclusive, instead of, I guess, uh, leaving the responsibility to diversity managers and inclusive managers. And, and by doing that, uh, ultimately, hopefully, the goal is to make these roles redundant.